Hello my lovelies, welcome back. Um, I'm going to put makeup on but I'm going to have a little chat with you as well about rosacea and makeup. This I was planning to film in the summer, didn't get round to it. Um, not going to make an excuse, I just didn't. And sometimes the timing has to feel right and it just sort of feels right today. Um, it's a learning curve and everybody's rosacea is different. The one thing I found is the more I throw moisturiser at it, even though it's still red, it feels so much better. It's not as dry and scaly. Um, I think my forehead's often the worst area now, but my cheeks can get quite pustular. Lovely. Um, and I've discovered that sleeping in a moisture mask really takes the redness down overnight. It really, really helps my skin. So I tend to do that every other night now. Um, I can thoroughly recommend the Superdrug Moisture Mask, but I will be doing another video about skincare and rosacea, so keep an eye out for that. So we're going to talk about the kind of makeup I reach for when my rosacea is particularly unkind. Um, and there are two types of product that I find really, really help if I want to wear makeup. One is mineral makeup. Um, I prefer English Mineral Makeup, the English Mineral Makeup Company. I've tried other mineral brands out there and I didn't like them before I had rosacea and I still don't. The English Mineral Makeup Company, everything is just so finely milled. It's just so gentle. You apply it but it's like you're not wearing anything but you are because it just tones everything down. And I generally will always have some form of the English mineral product on, whether it's the green corrector or a little bit of the fairy godmother, which you can sleep in because it's skincare, makeup, primer, everything. It's amazing. I adore their bronzers, their blushes, and I will tend to sometimes use the bronzer as eyeshadow as well. It just all works together. So mineral makeup for me and my rosacea is an absolute must. I absolutely love it. And it doesn't irritate or make my face itch or anything. So definitely mineral powder form um, makeup. The other one I would say um, are creams, cream makeup. Um, milk makeup, they're blushes, highlighters. Cream just doesn't accentuate anything. It works beautifully, it gives you that softness without sort of sitting and being obvious on the face. And when my rosacea is really, really bad, it's better for me to sort of get the cream products in there. Um, Art Deco is another brand that I love. This is the highlighter and this is their multi-stick for face and lips, which I tend to use as sort of blusher, bronzer, but it's such a great creamy product things that you can blend with your fingers the warmth of your fingers makes it easier a sponge and it just makes you look slightly better and that's what you want um i adore glossier stretch concealer because again it's super creamy it's very flattering you can use this in place of foundation and sometimes i do if i just don't want to look at this i will just blend that over and I'm done a little bit of mascara but that's a really good concealer if you're using concealers and thinking no it's a bit too obvious um I love bye bye under eye um the original I think sometimes works better for me if I am trying to conceal areas because the illumination brightens a lot so it's great under the eye but if I'm trying to conceal actual breakouts and redness this for me is fabulous um the milk makeup their stretch flex concealer um this is medium beige which is far too dark for under the eyes but it's great to counteract the redness so something peachy and beige and maybe darker than you think is very very good if you do want to just have that optical illusion gets rid of the redness and quite cleverly it always seems to look that little bit better so we're going to sort of pick and mix with a few of those. Um, the odd thing is sometimes fluid foundations are great and then sometimes I put them on and they just seem to sort of, they look so obvious. I have three that I can rely on 
not to do that um, one is the number seven moisturizing foundation this is the hydroluminous you don't need a lot of it um, I find using my fingers in a sponge works really well but I, I do like that one the two I tend to reach for a lot um, IT Cosmetics CC the full coverage cream because a lot of their cosmetics are developed for rosacea the lady who developed and created the brand suffers from rosacea and you really don't need a lot this is the only thing about this one I would say to you is the less is more with rosacea it's very tempting to pile it on because it seems so extreme but actually the less you apply the more you work if you've got the time to really work and even everything out it pays dividends so less is more with this and then this which was sent to me by a friend it was gifted to me Le Mer soft fluid I like this particular shade this one is the neutral 22 because it has almost a grey tone which again neutralizes the skin but I like it because it's a very safe fluid to use and when I powder it's it's a good partnership it doesn't accentuate so oddly sometimes fluid foundations are not always rosaceous friend that's just my findings so today I'm just going to use um, the milk and I find that a flat headed foundation brush is my best friend with things like this so just over there so identifying those areas first that are quite red And then I'm just going to use this brush I don't know why the flat concealer works I mean you can get a buffing brush in there if you want it just I don't know I think I feel there's more precision with this that I can really really blend it out and work it and work the color for me And I think when there's more space between the brushes, I just think it works better on the skin rather than it being packed. With a buffing brush, you have so many bristles packed together that it can often leave the area quite still thick with product. And I like this because it actually makes you spread the product through. And my redness goes quite into my hairline as well the nose is always a pain because when it's red it's so sore as well and then just a little bit more which is perfect if you have the time. I appreciate we don't always have the time. So sometimes fluid is your best friend because you can whack it on quite quickly. But if you have the time to sort of work with the brush and with the product and build certain areas up, it really works well um, for the skin. Then I'll probably go in with some Glossier. I usually apply the milk concealer first. And then with this, just patting that. So allowing the warmth of my fingers to work it and then a sponge so even though I'm layering over the top because the initial layer of foundation was very very light this sits beautifully over that And I think the essence of things like 
English Mineral Milk Makeup. Um, I think the essence is that you get great products that are pigmented but they don't need the heaviness of the product. So it's very subtle application but the high standard of pigment gives you that colour. Um, and I think when you find something like that then it works to your advantage to just keep using it most definitely. And that's why I love Glossier, even though it's very, very creamy, you get great colour payback, really, really nice colour payback. So then I have English Mineral Makeup Blusher in the shade Soft, which you can use um, as eyeshadow, bronzer, whatever you want. But I love this because you just get such a soft, beautiful, pigmented colour. So you see that's just adding warmth to the features without sitting, caking or accentuating anything at all. And that's what I love about this brand. Very, very gentle for the face as well. And you can layer, because it is so fine, you can just layer till you get the depth of colour that you want. And I can take that round. I like to take colour under my eye. That pretty. I love it. And then I'm going to use the same soft English mineral colour. Just take that to the eye. So multi-purpose. Sometimes people with certain types of rosacea also have quite dry eyelids and flaky eyelids. Um, and this I just start find so soft and gentle. And the colour will look different on the eye than it does on the face as well. So you can't tell that you've got the same makeup on. You can always add cream over the top. And you can do it the other way around. So you can put cream, blusher on, powder. But again, because this is so soft, you can actually build the colour over the top of each other. I'm going to put a little bit of mascara on. Primer first. If you are self conscious about your rosacea, there's always the option of accentuating maybe your eyes. So you could do a very strong, smoky eye, maybe a fabulous eyeliner flick, which draws all the attention to the eye area and away from the other areas. But I have to say that unless, you know, people know or I've told people, very few people actually pick up on it. And I know myself from working on counter that people would come to me and say, you've probably noticed. And I haven't because when you look yourself, you see the problem. But people don't. It seems so much more magnified to you. So it's quite easy to think it's screaming out there at people but actually it really isn't i've got some of the milk makeup um mascara but again as i say if you are conscious about it self-conscious and you, you're going out you like to put your makeup on accentuate a feature that you feel really positive about eyes maybe a really good strong lip maybe both nothing wrong with that um and it always helps, you know, drawing the attention away from what maybe makes you feel uncomfortable. I'm not going to do my brows today because it's quite a simple, simple makeup. But that looks so much better. Just simple coverage, just taking down the redness. You can always, I mean, sometimes if my skin really isn't very pleasant and I want that really glossy, I find a glossy, glassy look to my skin really helps when I put makeup on. Um, it just makes me feel better and there's nothing worse. I think seeing little dry patches just makes it seem more extreme. So I will put my moisturiser on, which I love, the Naturally Radiant Brightening Day Cream from Superdrug. Um, who told me? Carmel, 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 I think it was Carmel, 
think. Um, that this is a, people liken it to the Liz Earl moisturiser, which I can see why I used to love Liz Earl moisturiser, but they have essential oils in, so I can't use them. It does have that sort of silky, glossy feel. Not as glossy, but damn near. So I love that. But then I will also pat a teeny tiny amount of Egyptian magic because it is a bit like petroleum jelly. You put too much on, you're just a slick. But a tiny, tiny amount in certain areas, it just gives that lovely dewiness. And I feel better when I look in the mirror if my skin's really bad. So I like this. Um, very much, very soft, very simple. And often... It is very, very tempting to really throw the makeup on when your skin's bad. Um, and I often have days where I really love, I'm feeling really sort of uh, angst. And when I'm angst, I throw a lot of makeup on. And sometimes I look and think, oh, it's done me no favours. Where when I look at this, it actually makes everything seem a lot softer. I think if you go very hard with your makeup, which I love to do, it often doesn't make doesn't help the situation so this for me feels a lot better than sometimes when I have a lot of makeup on I am going to put a little bit of color on the lips I have some of the um, blusher from English mineral rose blusher so a powder and if you do something different on a different part of your face you often focus more on that than the areas that you're maybe not happy with. Then I'm going to go over with Work from Milk Makeup, their lip and cheek colour. You can do it the opposite way around, so you could put this on first and then the powder over the top. But I want quite a... So it looks quite dewy in the middle but then it sort of filters out to being quite soft at the edges. I don't feel the need to actually powder over that. But this is my sort of very subtle, probably works better when the rosacea's bad makeup. But there's nothing wrong with throwing lots of makeup at your face if that's how you feel. So yes, my recommendation is lots of hydration, um, lots of moisturiser, lots of moisturising masks. Um, for me, nothing with essential oils. Lavender, really not my best friend at all. So I avoid essential oils, but I don't really have a problem with perfume fragrances um, within products. And a little bit of Egyptian magic sometimes just gives that little slip. If you like your makeup to look glowy and slippy, I would say that if I had rosacea in my 30s when I embraced being matte, severely mattified, I don't think it would have looked great. I find that my rosacea is really accentuated if it is powdered up. Um, lots of powdered products don't always work, um, which is why I tend to focus on creamy ones, unless you have really good mineral powders and then you're quite safe and this is a really good mineral powder. But yes, creams, cream highlighters that you can blend with the warmth of your finger. Art Deco Luminous Skin Stick, I really like. Um, and I absolutely adore the Milk Highlighter in Lit. But cream products, cream, easy to blend, concealers, colours that counterbalance the redness. So I find things like medium beige, which is quite a dark shade actually takes the redness out of the skin completely um, and I just need to sort of diffuse that slightly so it's not as obvious on the face and sometimes really moisturising foundations products that are designed for rosacea but a little goes a long way because it's so beautifully pigmented and things like Le Mer, which is ridiculously expensive I know but the tone of the foundation and the softness of it works a treat you'll find your own way sometimes I add serums to foundations that I use and that works really well it is trial and error and what works one day does not always work the next day which is very frustrating but I hope that little chat through some of my rosacea favorite makeup products helps I will do more 
videos like this because I know a few of you have said you'd like to see what I apply. Um, I will do a video when my skin is really, really bad and will work through it where you're just making the best because um, sometimes it's still going to be flaky and you can see it and it's just what it is um but yes there will be a few more of these coming but i have found that flat headed foundation brushes um have been my best friend a lot of the time when it's come to applying things any highlighter and things in place delicate touch so uh maybe root them out again i know they're not as popular to use but i love mine right thank you for joining me and i look forward to your comments and i'll be back soon with another video Thank you.